Town Burn Pile. Are you proud of you? Are you proud of yourself, sir? I don't know these people. I <laughs> Yeah, so that was pretty eventful. Or lack it was like climatic but then like yeah. Which is good. Yeah. He just got a warning. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> we're not we were being watched over big time. We and the story is, which I think is really funny, so we have to we have to share this. So Kelly Clarkson came on the radio. What kills doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Anyway, <laughs> um, and he wasn't paying attention to his speed. So thankfully, the cop was so nice. He was a state trooper, and he was so kind, and he just gave us a warning. He told us to keep saying it. He down. did. He said, "But just slow down." So. That's what we're doing. <laughs> we're still singing, but we're definitely slowing down. <laughs> we're going to take a visit to our property that we purchased in North Idaho. It's raw land and we have a lot to get done. It's been a long winter and we're ready to return so that we can get some of the slash piles that we had put together burned. Before we get into the trip, I wanted to share some excellent footage that our youngest daughter, Lindsay, and her boyfriend and a friend had gone up to the property for us yeah. on a visit while she was there in North Idaho. As you can see how much snow we really got, and there's our giant burn slash pile. So this is the pile that we're hoping that we can actually get burned while we're up there. Two, three. <laughs> It looked like a magical wonderland with all that beautiful white snow. Now we're heading up from Phoenix to find out what it looks like now. And we're kind of nervous about it, just because we're not sure if all the snow is actually melted. The point of this trip is to get up there and to try and burn those piles. But if it's too wet or the conditions with the weather don't comply, we're really gonna struggle and we know that. This is a big trip for us. We live in Phoenix, Arizona. It takes us about 19 to 22 hours. So it's a big commitment. So we're hoping that we can actually accomplish what we'd love to get done, which is get the burn piles taken care of. Awfully pretty, huh? got the rental the ranger is what it's called and we're heading up to the property we're so excited to see it it's going to probably be a muddy muddy mess but it's still gonna be an adventure right we've got lots to get done so hopefully we can get some things in on this trip and make it really productive right babe right hoping so we shall see see you there But first, get her. <laughs> All right. Well, now it is hailing. Yeah, they're just there. I don't know if you get to see them. They kind of tag us on the of rain you guys it's the first spring rain that they've had up here so we thought maybe we could bring our sunshine with us but yeah not so much but that's okay we improvise making it work hi here we go
You need to... I was freaking out, wasn't I? Yeah, just a little bit. It looks so pretty back there. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to go Come see on. it. Come Does this well, hawk? What? Oh, no. Does this hawk? Yeah. Try it. Oh, no. Why? Is it going to be really loud? I don't want to annoy the... Oh, just do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Sean, what do you have here? Concoction. Of? Diesel and oil. Diesel and oil. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mama. You are such <laughs> a pussy. <laughs> See, I'm wiping my hands from the diesel. <laughs> <laughs> to get it off of me. You are kind of silly. <laughs> I am not silly. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Found burn pile. We know this doesn't look good. That's a lot of snow. That's a lot of moisture. How are we ever going to get this started? Well, we have a limited amount of time up here and we really have to try. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep trying. We're gonna live yeah, we got some sunshine now. Peeking through. Kind of nice. <clears throat> It's not catching. Oh, he's gonna use his torch. Let's try and get it going again. It's the same. Yeah. It'll just yeah. Not on the snow. Just on the tree. I just don't know if it's going to be enough to keep the tree going. I don't know. I don't know. It's trying. Yeah? You think? Papers from the shed. Huh? Didn't get it hot enough in there. It's starting to go down, the thing. Let's <laughs> see, She's trying. You're right. <laughs> you having some problems there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get that over there, that's Okay, that was that was amazing. Yeah. I played Whoa. softball, did you know? I know. <laughs> Not basketball, it's a good thing. <laughs> Got the big guns, bringing it in. There you go. <laughs> it's it's got that one wall going. There's enough oxygen flowage from between that sheet of plywood or whatever that you put there. It's giving it some fuel for oxygen in there. Keeping it going. Hands. This is how you wash your hands. Yeah. Snow. 
So if you're new here, my name is Winter, my husband, Sean, we purchased land here in Idaho, five acres in the mountains, and we are attempting to build a homestead from scratch. Uh, we are from Phoenix, Arizona, and we've always loved Idaho. So this is what we are attempting to do. It's a dream of ours. We've always wanted to own property and just build and be off grid. So this is us attempting to keep one foot in the city for right now where we have family there and trying to just kind of start to weed our way our kids graduated from high school so we're trying to now kind of ease into this different lifestyle now and this is just one trip that we're taking up here in order to keep moving forward with our dream of building so we excavated some of the land up here cut down lots of trees with the help of some amazing friends and now we are just trying to burn this before um springtime and then uh, we'll be back up here again hopefully I would say hopefully in like end of July is what we're hoping um, and then that trip will have a whole other set of tasks and things that we want to get accomplished but this trip in particular was to get some different trail cams up and also get this burn pile done um, at least started because it is giant <laughs> And we don't want to miss the opportunity, obviously, before they lift, you know, the burn, the burning uh, season is over. There's so much water and snow on the ground right now that this is really ideal if you can get it started, obviously. So most of the snow is actually gone in most of the same point area, uh, but our property is pretty high up to the mountains. So we still have quite a bit of snow up here. So as you can see, he's just trying to keep that going over there. This is going to probably take gosh i i wouldn't even begin to say i it feels like maybe over a month for this whole thing to actually kind of like burn down and um but we'll just keep working at it chipping at it trying to get it done are you happy happier happier that you got it started yeah. and that it's actually it's, uh, moving in the right here. direction it cures the pyro in me. <laughs> it, did you say it cures? It cures that pyro rich in me. Okay. Let's just keep that contained. Whoa, buddy. Yeah. Can you guys hear that? You can hear the trains from our property. I had forgotten that. It's not so loud that it would obviously cause us like issues sleeping or something like that. Although from what I understand, a lot of people really, really love the trains up here. It's a sound that's very nostalgic and like parts of their childhood. And some people say it helps them sleep better. So, but that is really cool that we can actually hear them on our property. I love that. I had forgotten it. So that's really cool, actually. So we're going to continue to keep trying to, you know, keep this fire going, even in the midst of the, the rain here. We've even had some hail. Well, thanks so much for watching today, you guys. We're so thankful that you're along with this journey with us. And if you'd like to, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to continue to watch our journey. And we'll be posting videos of every time we have some content. But we really would love it if you would subscribe. As also, um, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we have videos up that are coming out. So, hope you have a blessed day. And don't forget, be loving and kind. Be loving and kind. <laughs>